this video we're going to be implementing driving into the vehicles that we've spawned into our game so let's get started okay so let's write the first script for our our player um our player's car so all we have to do right now is um get this car that we can enter into um i think we need to also edit the the box colliders but yeah we can enter into the car now we want to make sure that we can drive these cars of course so um basically the mechanics of these cars if i um do this we want um we want it to be once we're like driving on the actual road we can drive at normal speed um, but if you notice in some other games if you drive on the grass or the sand um it kind of like slows down your car so we're gonna implement um we're gonna implement that as well um then of course we're not gonna be able to go through these colliders this train we're not gonna be able to go through it um and also we want it to be if we drive too fast into one of these um buildings we can lose um health so yeah that's what we're gonna do in this video um i'm um, right now so yeah let's let's get this this car moving so the first thing we want to do is say when i start as clone um go to the forever loop which is also in control and all we're gonna do is say if control equals true which is very important here i um, want to look if um where is this if statement uh, also in control if um and then i think i believe we have a control equals true already we can just still uh nope i right, let's make our own if controlled equals to if control equals to true capital e i mean capital t if controlled equals to true then all, um any of this can happen now we, what we want is the first thing um to happen is of course if key space is pressed we want that to slow down our car um so let me let me let me call that in so we see if um let's have it if else because first we're going to have our space and then if it's not the space being pressed of course it's going to be ws to um increase the acceleration so if key space is pressed now um we're going to have to do we have a variable called car speed no so we're going to have to make a for the sprite only car speed okay and we say if car speed um does not equal to zero so we can only slow down our car if it does not equal to zero so if um let me grab an if statement if our beloved car speed uh does not equal to zero um then we now also have to um take into account if our car is going forward or backwards so so then we say if um let's grab two if statements so if if then we can say let me just duplicate this car speed and grab a greater than operator and a less than operator so we say if car speed is greater or less than and then we put these both at zero so if car speed is greater than zero then we want to change our car speed um change car speed by 0 0.3 so if we're greater than zero no 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 no, no. if we're greater than zero and we want to decrease that would be negative 0 0.3 and then here we'll have this be 0 0.3 all right okay so now let's throw this in here and before yeah we set up our max speed for all our cars so let's place this here and then we're also going to create a brand new block and we're going to call that move so yeah let's put this here and define move we'll define that later on in this um, video but then put move right um here so if and then after we've changed the car speed then we put move okay so next we want to look if the car speed is so low um let's say for example because it won't ever get to exactly zero so we want it to be if it's near enough to zero so let's grab the and statement and grab this grab this remember right click and then um duplicate on this and then what we want to do is say if car speed is greater than negative 0 
and it's less than 0 0.1 so in between um this range uh it's a bit better to have it like this actually okay so if it's in between 0 0.1 and negative 0 0.1 then we're just simply um but we need a if statement for this so we're going to set if car speed this is this, this and then we're going to set our car speed to zero of course you can increase this range if you want to 0 0.2 instead uh, i think it works fine like this okay so now we're in our else statement and our else statement is where we're gonna um control the movement of our car so if w is pressed if um what is it called if s is pressed so this is going to be our forward and back keys so the first thing we're going to do is make sure that our car is you know driving so let's set that up let's say if um key w if key w where is my w okay so if w is pressed then we're going to if we go in our variables we have two things we have the previous x previous y no so we have to make them for our ver for our sprite or what we can do is go into our player take the move previous x previous y i think so wait let me think let me think um if we can take this move hold on let me just see now we're gonna leave this we're gonna leave this move so what i'll do is just stay in this car and say if w is being pressed now we're going to look if we're touching um some trees or not but let's first set up this previous x and previous y for our um car so previous x um previous y for this sprite only as well um and then we're going to say set both of these previous x and previous y where are you previous x previous y to um the current x and y position so let me set this here set this here boom wow okay so now we can put this here and we're basically um saying if w is pressed to just um look at the previous position we were so this will ha help handle the colliders um next we're gonna look um in an if else statement if we're touching the the what is it the grass or if we're not touching the grass so we say if touching um and of course if you're you're using a different world other than this you might end up um choosing a different color but let's first look what's the main color is it this dark green or this light green um it's clear yeah it's clearly the darker green if i'm not mistaken yeah it's probably the darker green let me just um go to the city go to costumes are these the same yes they are okay the dark green yeah so we're gonna select the darker green um go into our car and go back to the code and say if selecting um, and then just choose this darker green okay so now we say if touching color and we also want to make sure that we're not touching the trees so we say and um not um touching any trees top layer trees then so this is the if else statement so if this now we're gonna set up um what is it the driving of our car and things of that nature so so if w is pressed then we need another if else statement um let's grab an if else statement here and then we're going to say if um grab a or operator and then grab an equal to operator so we want to say that if our car speed is equal to the max speed um I think let's look at our max speeds. Let's look at our max speeds. Five. Okay, hold on. So we're gonna see we're gonna have to edit our max speed when we're driving on the tree. So here we're just gonna see if car speed is equal to max speed of the car. Um times let's let's say that we only get a 
we we only move at 0 0.6 of the speed so we're going to times by 0 0.6 um, so that the the speed is less of course or if the the car speed is greater than this max speed so let's grab this and then just say if duplicate this and then duplicate this so we say or if car speed is less than no 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 it has to be greater than if car speed is greater than this okay so now let's put this here in our if statement and then we're going to set of course um set um car speed where is our car speed car speed right here to max speed times zero 0.6 times 0 0.6 and now in our else statement if we're not um, at that speed we want to increase our speed so we're going to change car speed um, by um, so first we want to look if the car speed is less than zero of course because um, if we are going negative yeah yeah that does make sense so let's take this if else statement here set car speed and then else and then we grab another if else so this is just um here we go if else um car speed um where is it car speed and of course if you're just making this for your own car game you don't have to include this um touching color and things of that nature but yeah, let me just continue with this we're gonna have, have an if else statement here and then we're gonna say if car speed so let me grab this here if car speed is less than zero then you want to change it by um 0 0.15 and if it's not less than zero what um sometimes does happen in the game when i was you know testing this before is that if you're touching a collider it's hard to get out of the um what is it building so what we're gonna do you don't need to add um actually no no let me just leave that um and then we're just gonna say if um if else in here then we first have to look if we're touching the collider where is my collider here or if we're touching another car so okay to get car we have to go to game manager change this to car yeah okay and then put this here i don't th are you able to do that here yeah you can so you have to do that a little glitch and then we say change car speed by 1.6 so that we can get out of this um what is a collision and if it's not then we're just gonna move by a regular speed of 0 0.07 okay so let me just explain what we have here so far um when when we're when the car speed is equal to max speed yeah i've explained that what what are basically happening is making sure we don't go past our max speed of the car which we've set for each individual car um and then we say if our car speed is less than zero then we want to change not bullet direction um but car speed by 0 0.15 um and then if it's not then we change car speed by 0 0.07 so half that so basically we want to like if we if we were reversing and we want to go forward we want our um car to go forward or go into like the you know moving forward faster and then once we've reached our car speed of um zero then we go into regular speed so just to make the driving of the car easier for the player so that if they want to go forward they can go there you know quickly as possible and then here we say change car speed by 1.6 as i explained if we touch a collider we want to get out of it faster um and then here change car speed by 0 0.07 yeah that's if we're just regularly driving and our car speed is greater than zero so now let's move on to if for some reason we're not driving on the grass which should be most of the time let's take this and all we have to do is remove this. We're not moving by um, 0 0.6 anymore. We're not limiting our player speed. Um, 
and then put this here. So basically you'll just replace this max speed times 0 0.6 with max speed. And then same thing here, same thing here, except here, we're gonna say 1.7. Um, just because um, some of the colliders that aren't on the grass require a little bit higher and we can place this right here in our else block. And of course we want to move this. So um, just under all of this, place the move block um yeah just under all of this and place it here okay so now we say if w is pressed da 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 um we're doing all of this and we've moved it now it's time for the s block which is basically a duplication of this so we're saying if w is pressed um we don't have actually do we say else if let me look um, we could get an else statement instead. Yeah, to make this, we only look into it once. So if W is pressed, and then we get an if S is pressed, okay? And then go ahead and duplicate this um, and put it here. And now we're gonna work on the S. Now, when we're reversing as, as if you've drive the car before, you realize that you can't drive as fast when um, driving backwards as you can when you're driving forward in most cases some cars are different but in most cases you can't drive as fast when you're reversing you also notice that in car games so what we're gonna do is half the speed of our of our car when it's driving backwards so right here we're going to have to take this away and duplicate this so we're also going to multiply this one as well so and we also have the move at the bottom yes okay so now if we're driving on grass our max speed is going to be times negative 0 0.3 not neg not 0 0.6 or negative 0 0.3 um negative 0 0.3 and when we're driving backwards we want it to be negative 0.1 so here's negative 0.1 if car speed is greater than zero so if car speed is greater than zero then we'll basically um what is it if we want to start reversing we will change it by negative 0.1 and once you you know start reversing we're going to have this negative 0.05 um, make this negative 12 for trying to get out of a collider and now let's set this up for actually no 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 this should be negative 1.6 negative 0, 0 0.5 okay so now this is going to be negative 0 0.05 that's how fast we accelerate um this is going to be negative 2 we're not trying to get out of a collider and this is going to be negative 0.1 as well so everything that i explained for moving forward goes the same for being going backwards only difference is oh and we also have to do that here car speed greater than zero um that's only if we want to um you know move backwards we just negate everything out here as well let me negate this let me negate this let me negate this okay so now i put this in the if keys is s and yeah, that's all we have for our movement. So if we do move, I believe this is going to not work, of course, because one, we're not moving, but control should equal to true for this car. But yeah, we're not moving at all. The car speed doesn't affect our actual car. Yeah, nothing is actually going on now. So don't expect anything to work now. Where we get things to start working is when we start, you know, doing the magic which is when we define move but before that um we need to say when i start as clone we also want our car to turn you know as cars do and we're gonna say um when i start as clone forever um if 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 so we're gonna have two if statements inside this if statement we say when control equals is true and then I'm just going to take this and take this. So we're going to turn with A and D. Um, so A is left. D is right. Um, and then we're going to turn. 
So our turning is going to be affected by how fast our car is going. So if our car is going slower, we're going to be able to turn slower. If we are going faster, we're going to be able to turn faster. Um, and we do this by, of course, first um, choosing which direction we're turning. We want to turn right, we want to turn right. If we're turning left, we want to turn left. Next, um, we want to say, also the fact is we could turn negative. Oh, okay, but yeah, we're not turning negative. We want to, uh, okay. Let me just multiply this. <laughs> Let me just multiply this. So multiply, multiply and then set car speed okay but our car speed is gonna be zero at the moment no 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 it's not it's not actually um and then set this to 0 0.35 and set this to 0 0.35 so you're not going to be able to turn a car that's not even moving um now if i enter this car if you press on w and try to turn you'll notice that you you can go faster but of course we can turn our cars left and right so that's the first thing turning our cars and that should only work if you press and hold on w hold on w and turn so don't go in the comments saying it's not working okay so next we need to say when i start as clone we also want our car to slow down um if we're not moving it of course because we don't want, um our, this is not a tesla we're not autopiloting this car so we're gonna say when i start as clone once again i think this is the last one i start as clone I'm gonna say forever on that. Um, if I say if else, or should I just say if? Let me just say if. If wow, okay. So or um, grab a or block. What we're gonna say is basically if we're not touching W A S or D. Um, or it's not W A or D doesn't matter. But if we're not pressing on the gas, which is W or S, or not pressing on space, which is to of course stop the car. If any of this is happening or if we're not controlling the car um, and the car is not controlled by an NPC, um, then we're going to slow down the car. So let me set up those parameters I just mentioned. So if not, then we can just put all the OR blocks here. So we just need three here, which is the buttons that we pressed. If not pressing W or not pressing this or not pressing this so if not pressing w s and then i'm also going to add space so s and space where's space where's space right here okay so if we're not touching any of these or controlled equals to false so i think yeah we can just steal this okay let me move this here or if controlled equals to false so if control equals to fault, okay, and then let me also add an and statement just to be safe. You never know how code, you know, oh, any, uh, 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 oof, I glitched out. Okay, so and not NPC. So NPC is something we're going to have in the next episode. Be ready for that. We're going to have some self-driving cars in this piece. So we'll, we're going to have that a little bit later though. Um, next, we're going to say previous position x previous position y i believe we set this up here so let me just duplicate that to take less time so if previous x and previous y and then we also want to look what's our car speed so um let me grab an, the first if statement which is gonna be in control as always um then i want to say if um not let me grab a not block I can probably just grab this as well so we can say if not um car speed equals to zero so if our car speed does not equal to zero if not car speed equals to zero then we're gonna say two things if we're moving backwards if our car is moving backwards we need to move slower if we're moving faster we want to move if we're moving forward, you want to move back. If I'm moving or in, take the car speed back. Okay, I'll just let me just do the code instead of explaining. It's easier to explain of code. So if um, car speed is greater than zero, then change car speed by 0 0.1. So if car speed is greater than zero, no 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 change it by negative 0 0.1 so we want to decrease the speed if a, if our car was already going forward at the time and if car speed is 
less than zero, then um, set this to 0 0.1 and then move. So similar to our space, the only thing is it's automatic. So move, okay. Now, after that, we have another thing we want to do is if our car speed was in that specific um, space, let's go to space, 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 space. Let's just copy this and put it here. Uh, car speed equals to zero. And then we say, if controlled equals to false then we're gonna set controlled to none so if if this if the car has stopped after we've controlled it we're gonna set it to none this also allows to like despawn um, vehicles later in the in the game anyway this is the last one which is move so let's get this define move First, we're gonna um, do the sensing as we usually do. We're gonna move in a specific um, amount of steps. So move car speed steps. So we can look if, um, what is it? If our car is able to move there. And of course, if we're touching the collider, we move back. So let's grab a if else statement. Yeah, if else. Um, then I'm gonna say if touching collider or another car I think the car is here so if touching collider or another car let me grab or yeah that um, bug that I, that I taught you I mean just showed you right now it's pretty useful if you have clones you know if you're touching another one of the clones then you would need touching car or a mouse pointer I oh, know mouse pointer um, collider then we're gonna say move <clears throat> move 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 car speed times one steps negative one step so we want to move back so okay so once we've moved back we also want to look if we're controlled because if we're controlled you want to reduce the health of our car so um of course if it's not controlled if it's controlled by npc we don't want because it's not a it is uh what is it called a player only thing because we want it if we try to bump into another car and yeah it gets too messy if we don't add this one parameter which is if controlled equals to true We'll end up with a messy game if we don't add this so please add this you can experiment with it off if you want um but you won't see the effect of this um if control that goes through until we add npc drivers into this game so if control equals two then we want to look if car speed is greater than greater than two or actually let me not say let me grab a if else and then we say if um, car speed is greater than zero then we grab another if statement um, so we're not gonna um, damage our, our players um, car if it's petty um, petty speed so if it's if it's greater than two then yes we damage him um, and then we say change car health um by car speed times negative 0 0.4 so here we want to decrease by a negative number of course um we don't want to give our player health negative because of course our car is moving forward in this case um we're gonna crash crash our car and explode it um after after this is done so we say if car speed is greater than two, 
0, negative 0 0.4 and then we say else if car speed is less than 2 then of course if it's in the negatives it's going to have to it's going to be already a negative number negative times negative is positive so this is going to be negative here oh no 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 i should make this negative 2 so if car speed is less than negative 2 then what you want to do is simply yeah um make this the car speed is going to be less than negative two which is negative and make this so it's still gonna reduce the car by a negative number of course that's what i'm trying to explain anyway we're almost done the last thing here is else we're gonna change my x change my y as we always do i'm just gonna code this myself i'm not gonna steal nothing this time um my x my y and then we're gonna actually i'm stealing nice no, i'm stealing ways move previous x previous y uh previous x previous y and and also also if controlled equals to two oh my god i said two if controlled equals to true then yeah i can't just edit this out anymore i don't know what i'm saying let me just put this here if control change x we're also going to change our x and change our y okay i know that was a lot hopefully it's worth it let's see if this works so i have a nice little car here and if we drive it you feel me it, it moves okay and then if we leave it it slows down you see my hands here not touching anything we can reverse okay that reverse was a bit odd but um because it's okay and then if we turn stop okay bet now let me try to reach max speeds and then touch grass uh okay okay pretty fast pretty fast now let me touch the grass and you notice we go slower okay now let me try to blow up the car um but it's a lot easier to blow up our faster car so let me try to see if we spawn any fast cars let me run this again, see if we can spawn a fast car. It's pretty fast, but please have the faster one. Nope. Okay, we're going to run this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is all the fast, I mean, what is it? The, the, actually, no, no, there's one there, but I'll do boom. Okay, we blew up the car. Okay, yeah, that's, that's it for this video. Oh, but let me also just make sure that we can, um, let me go slow and then try to see if I can yeet out of that collider because I just saw we were, oh, 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 my goodness, that's bad. Think that's a bit of a bug let me try okay okay we have a problem we have a problem but no worries okay space just to slow it down okay and it blows up regardless of that car health thing so i think let me first try okay so we have a bit of bugs um okay hold on let me see okay so um the first problem which i've recognized i'm re-recording the the bug is this right here um we're saying if max speed times 0 0.3 is less than car speed which is actually supposed to be greater than car speed so what we can do is simply switch these around that will fix the first bug i hope I actually didn't try this before I before I started recording, so let's see. Um, yeah, the the super what is it called? Yes, okay, bet, bet, bet. That bug's fixed. Now, if we bump into an object, yeah, you see that, and we can crash into an object and blow up. Okay, so yeah, yeah, that's actually pretty fine. Yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. If you actually, yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, she's done, she's done, she's done, she's done. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please make sure to smash that like button and smash the subscribe button so you don't miss the next video where we're going to be adding um, NPC driving. So we're going to have some um, cars controlled by an AI um, moving up and down the road. So catch you for that one. Peace.